eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift off. Lift off. The vehicle launch has cleared pad. the pad, safing launch pad. Stage one propulsion nominal. And that's liftoff. Our 39th Electron launch vehicle is in the sky for this mission and progressing well on its way to sun-synchronous orbit. The first major milestone in flight is Max-Q, or maximum aerodynamic pressure. Just ahead of 1 minute 20 seconds, Electron will push through the highest amount of aerodynamic stress it experiences. Approaching Max-Q. Cleared Max Q. And with word from Mission Control, we can confirm that Electron has successfully passed through Max Q and is continuing on its southeastern trajectory off the coast of New Zealand. The first stage's Rutherford engines are firing nominally as we come up to the next series of events in the vehicle's launch profile, starting with main engine cutoff or MECO. Electron will go through a clean separation of the first and second stages before the single Rutherford engine on the second stage Guidance fires model. up Altitude and takes the vehicle satellites the rest of the way into orbit. We should see those actions on screen and hear the call-outs from mission control operators shortly. Operation then marks the first step in today's stage recovery of mission of as well, as step that first stage Mico reaches Apogee seconds. before making its journey back down to Earth. Fifteen seconds to staging. Entered burnout detect mode. Miko confirmed. Stage separation successful. Clearance number. Altitude is seven seven kilometers. Speed of two thousand eight two meters per second. Stage two mission confirmed. And there we go, we have confirmed a successful transition from the first to second stages of Electron's flight with Miko, stage separation and second stage engine start all nominal. You can now see the orange glow of the space optimised Rutherford engine as it carries on into space. The payload fairing, the protective shell at the top of Electron, protects the satellites but since we've cleared the lower atmosphere, they don't need this protection anymore. Let's keep an eye out for when the payload Hello. fairing, Hello. and there it goes. Genesis. To get rid of all that dead weight, and Stage we've seen it just fall away. We've got some time before the next milestone, so let's HTB take a uh, look at the booster returning to Earth on the left of your screen. Everything's looking good there. A couple of minutes ago, the engines shut down on that first stage, and after the booster reached Apogee, uh, the reaction control system kicked in to reorient itself to place it on an ideal angle of attack for re-entry. During re-entry, Electron will reach around eight times the speed of sound on its descent, and the air around Electron will heat up to 2,400 degrees Celsius, generating an extremely hot plasma that creates a red-orange glow around the business end of the stage. That stage one booster is doing well on its way back to Earth and stage two is making light work of its journey to orbit. 
You can see on the graphs there, stage one has, looks like, just reached apogee and is starting its descent back to Earth, and stage two is well on its way. Electron's second stage moving at a speed of 11,000 kilometres an hour and just passing through 192 kilometres in altitude. Guidance is nominal, 200 seconds remaining. Back to the primary mission here, we're coming up to a milestone you'll see used only on Electron, the swap out of our batteries that our second Recovery stage Rutherford engine draws signal. its energy from to run HPD its electric pumps. The vehicle has run through the set of batteries we used for stage two ignition, so now we need to swap over to a fresh set to keep things going. We call this move the battery hot swap. We should hear that call come from Mission Control shortly, but keep an eye on your screen too, as you might just catch a glimpse of them falling away. Hot swap successful. And there goes the call for a successful battery hot swap. Listening out now for confirmation of the deployment of the drug shoot battery on stage one. Confirmed. That'll bring the initial velocity of the booster down to about a third from around Mark 1.4 to just Mark 0 0.5. AFTS is saved. Recovery vessel confirms drogue. And we're just confirming that we have just heard from Mission Control over the nets that we have had a nominal drogue chute deploy. This will demonstrate a significant reduction in velocity for our first stage ahead of the deployment of our much larger main parachute, which will take Electron to a soft splashdown HVB in the Pacific Ocean, where our recovery vessel is awaiting to scoop it out of the water and begin that desalting process. Stage two propulsion holding nominal. Guidance is in terminal, 20 seconds remaining. Stage one main chute deployed and confirmed on video. And that's confirmation from the team in Mission Control. The Stage 1 main chute has deployed and the booster is on about a seven-minute journey back down to the water. Meanwhile, in space, where that Stage 2 is ferrying our customer spacecraft to their orbital destination, we're moving at a very brisk 28,000 kilometres an hour. And it looks like we've just had Stage 2 shutdown. <laughs> 